We're going to take a quick look at a process, part of the process of training. When we went through some of the grooming and some of the vet prep, making sure she could go through all of her essential first aid techniques, the only little bit of resistance we found was um, cleaning the teats, simulating a needle, and putting something in the eyes. So what we're going to look at is helping her get better at those three things, how we can strategically use treats to work through different issues where our horses say no or our horse is a little bit defensive. So the treats will only work as a motivator and as a positive reinforcement if the horse is mostly out of fear and defensiveness. So Rarely's now been here, I think, uh, almost seven weeks. The first two weeks she was here, we did mostly mental focus work at the halt and with me walking backwards, and we did that everywhere. A lot of work in the wash rack, a lot of that out in the riding area. And two weeks of that helped the energy just really come down. Then we've been spending the four weeks, our work time, so to speak, is going out on a halter, now the regular halter with the lunge line, and just letting her spend pent-up energy. I haven't asked for a direction. She can do anyth anything she wants. And we do that as often as possible. I think we get in about four days a week for 45 minutes to an hour. And we've been working on it about four weeks now. I haven't changed anything else I've been doing. Any of the other stuff we're doing is just the basic handling as we're putting her through her paces. So of course I ran out of the best treats, but I grabbed some alfalfa pellets. We'll see if she likes those. Yeah, they're not the sweetest treat, but if she likes them, that'll work. And then what we're gonna do with treats is if, the ho if our horse is really bad with the vet or really bad with the farrier, we can use treats as something that is a positive distraction to help them learn how to cope with something negative in their minds that they're defensive about. So we're gonna start with our needle simulation, which was something she really didn't like. I know it's a little bit tricky managing all that. So I just have a screw with a sharp tip and very carefully, making sure I don't get anywhere near penetrating the skin, she was okay when we did the simulation for the IV injections on the jugular, but she was pretty reactive when we did the needle simulation for IM on the muscles. So what I'm gonna do is she's nice and relaxed now, so I'm just gonna poke where we would put an IM needle, and then I'm gonna give her a little treat. Right, so I'm going to try to give the treat after. If horses are really bad with needles or bad with anything, we can sort of tag team them. Like I used to stand, if the farrier was here or the vet was here, I would stand and if the horse really wasn't afraid but was still defensive, I would sit here and just stuff treats in the mouth while the vet or the farrier or somebody is doing their work. I think I lost the camera. There we go. Okay. So, and it actually, I need to kind of turn her sideways to show this. I know you're being very good. So right in here where now she's relaxed with her head down. So I'm just going to gently poke with the screw, not too hard. Hopefully I don't want a reaction, just enough for her to feel it. And then I'm gonna give her a little treat. And then I'm gonna poke. And then I'm gonna give a little treat. This camera likes to see the side of the horse, which is easier for you guys too. So then I'm going to, yeah, now she knows the poke is coming. So no treat. No poke, no treat. We'll turn her this way. We'll look at it from the other side. Right? 
So again, I want her to relax first. So just switching sides and changing it up, whenever she gets defensive, I can just make a little change. So I take away that negative anticipation. That's the negative anticipation. That's an unhappy face, right? So I'm gonna see if she allows me to do it again. Not so happy, but she didn't back away. So I'm just gonna give a treat. Right, and while she's munching on the treat, I'm gonna poke again, right? Then I'm gonna give another little few nibblies. Then I'm gonna just sort of break it up a little bit by stepping her forward, right? Petting her with my hand on the same spot. So I'm just breaking the pattern. The more she anticipates what's coming, the more I wanna just change up what I'm doing. Be, oops, be careful with your screw. So, and then the treats are also part of that mixing things up because when horses get defensive and they start to fixate on what they don't want, we can sort of break that cycle by offering something they do want. So this time I'm gonna do a treat and I'm gonna give a poke and I'm gonna give a treat, right? And then I'm gonna poke. And I picked this one first because even though she reacted to it, it was kind of the least defensive out of the three, right? She was pretty defensive about my hand getting up in the teats to clean them out, so I'm gonna leave that to last. But she really didn't understand the whole put your head over my shoulder thing um, when I went to use the eye wash on her too. Now, do you see how by mixing in the treat and the poke, right? The more I, and then using little things like this to interrupt a negative response, right? And a poke and interrupt the negative response and another little poke, right? And interrupt and poke. Yeah, see I'm poking the same, but she's sort of reacting more. So this time I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna step her forward. I'm gonna give her a treat. And then I'm gonna poke. Even if she backs up, I'm gonna just move with her and keep gently poking, right? Until she stops or gets a tiny bit better. And then I'll give her another little nibbly. Okay, let's step up. Right, so I'm gonna do that again. I know. Give her a little bit of a treat. Give her a little gentle poke. If she tries to avoid it without pulling on her, because I corrected her a few times, it didn't make it any better. So I'm just gonna move with her. There, when she stopped her feet, we stop. Walk forward again. A Little bit of a nibbly. A little bit of a poke. Oh, she backs up again. Not as far this time. Excellent. That's a little bit of progress. Yep. I'm going to step her forward again. Give her a little bit of a treat. Give her a little bit of a poke. Oh, she steps back. I'm just going to stay with her, and I'm just gently poking. There. There. She relaxed a lot more with the poke. Yes. <coughs> Let's try it again. I think she does better if I give her the treat first, but there's no right or wrong way to do this. You can do the poke first and then the treat. You can do the treat and then the poke. <coughs> That's much better. Much better. Excellent. So then I'm going to give her a break. <coughs> Excuse me. For not moving her feet and not reacting. I think I lost the camera again. <coughs> okay, let's just finish it up. I don't know, I don't know if we got that or not. Oh well, we'll do it one more time. Give her a nibbly, 
right? Give her a little jab. Great, almost zero reaction. I'm gonna give her another little nibbly and we're gonna quit the needle simulation right there because that was a much more blase response to something that she used to be defensive about. <coughs> so with that really nice little moment of acceptance, we're gonna leave the needle simulation there, put our screw up in a very safe place and we're gonna grab the eye wash. So this one, what she was unfamiliar with was the position of putting, this is gonna be interesting to manage, putting her head over my shoulder, right? So actually before I take the eye wash, we're gonna work on her putting her head over my shoulder and letting me touch the face with both hands like that, right? And then I put the treats here. Well, we're gonna have to do it this way with the treats. There may be a way to hand her a treat in that position, but I can't think about it. I can't think of it right now. And especially with a little bucket of pellets, that's very difficult to manage. So I'm just gonna set this down and we're first gonna work on asking her to put her head on my shoulder and just relax while I touch both eyes with my hands. All right, she's still kind of holding her head up off my shoulder and a little bit tight. So I'm gonna pet the neck. I hope we're not losing the camera again. Okay to turn her sideways. I'll do it from this angle. So from here, I want her head on my shoulder and she's never done this before, so it's new to her, right? And then I just wanna be able to rub the eyes, touch, and have her relax. And when I feel her relax a little bit, like I'm just gonna keep rubbing the head, rubbing the eyes, and touching her. And just there, she kind of relaxes a little bit and puts some weight of her head on my shoulder. Very politely, very gently. So then I'm gonna step away and give her a little treat. Right? So we're just going to keep repeating that. That's going to be the next thing we work on. And we're going to keep repeating that until she relaxes into the whole process. And then we will bring in the eye wash when she gets there. And I'll just sort of demonstrate. Might be a bit early to try to show this. But once she relaxes here, actually, let me do it this way so we can see. When she relaxes here, I know the other side is a whole new deal, isn't it? Whole new deal. I know we got the other side done. But what we can do is push the eye open here so we can separate the eyelids, right? That's why they need to be pretty relaxed with this step first. But we can separate the eyelids and start to bring our medication from above. Right, so even if I can just pull the eyelid up, yeah, she's gonna need some more work with this before we can demonstrate it properly. But you kind of get the idea. And we'll come back to this one later. Right, so here I can bring my medication in from above the eye and I can open the eye here. Oh, we got it done. Yep, and just put a little bit just a little saline solution, doesn't hurt. Should actually feel good. And I was hoping to do this eye because this is her weepy eye, should feel really good. So we'll come back to that. We'll work on that and come back to that later. Girl. <laughs>